We acknowledge Mental Health Awareness Month tonight, the story of a young woman who was, to put it mildly, troubled. And it got her into trouble. She was broke and homeless and unhealthy. But then, then she started running, and it changed her life, she says, big time. And tomorrow morning in Queens, she'll be running in a 5K to spread the word to others. There is hope for those fighting mental health. Here's Michelle Charles. You can only get healthy if you want to get healthy. Like nobody else can can do that for you. 36 year old Janie Deegan baked and ran her way out of a very dark and lonely place. I got sober when I was 25 and from 24 to 25 I was homeless and penniless. I didn't have an ID. I didn't have a home. Obviously I didn't have a bank account. That was 10 years ago. Now Janie owns and runs three bakeries in Manhattan. She's also a marathon runner. What would she say to her struggling self at 24? Don't quit before the miracle. For Janie, getting in a better place mentally and healing herself had everything to do with doing, baking, running, one cookie and one step at a time. Find that one thing that makes you feel a little tiny bit at peace or makes you like one step closer to like self love or confidence and whatever that is, like just like grab onto that. She pulled herself up and out without fancy experience in baking or in restaurants or small business loans. Every dollar she made, she turned right around to invest in her business. And initially, from homelessness, she found a place in which to live working as a building superintendent for free rent. Now, life is sweet. Everybody in the neighborhood on West 80th has a favorite cookie. This is three-year-old Miles, a daily customer, and his favorite is the s'mores cookie. At the end of the day, we're selling cookies, we're selling joy. Like, if we're not joyful, like, what is the point? What is the point? And remember what she said, don't quit before the miracle. Think of Janie this weekend, running the New York Roadrunners' mindful 5K.